Hi you guys, it's me Shantae and welcome back to Shake It Up with Shantae. If you've been here before, welcome back as always. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my way of how I make my honey glazed brown sugar ham. Yes, sounds complicated, but it's not. It's very easy, very simple. Without further ado, let's shake something up. All right, y'all, so this is the ham that I'll be using, this shank por portion smoked ham. Most of the time when you go in the grocery store, which a lot of people don't know, and you go and get a ham, it's already fully cooked. It's smoked all over, no matter if it come in that gold package, that silver package, it's already cooked. It's already smoked. Let me just say that it's a smoked ham, which means it's fully cooked really already. What we do is we glaze it and we put it in the oven for a couple of hours just to get it kind of like... Um, a little denser taste and we kind of put the glaze on there. We want it to crisp up. But nine times out of ten, if you go in a store and you were confused that that ham that has, it either comes in a clear package like this. Um, this is by Sugardale. They also have one by Smithfield and a bunch of other different names. But most of the time, look at the package and read it. It says already fully cooked smoked ham. So basically it's already done. You're not really getting a raw ham meat where you gotta go home and you gotta uh, get, try to figure out how you are gonna cook it. it. Did it cook long enough? Basically we're just warming it up really. We're gonna put it in the oven and let it cook for a few hours, that's it. But if you guys are wondering how you are gonna cook a ham, you've never done it before, you don't know where to start, and your first time, go in the grocery store, Go in the ham section, like right about now. It's a whole bunch of hams in there because people ain't buying them yet. They always wait till the last minute. Y'all know how we do. We wait till the very last minute to go get our Thanksgiving dinner. But if you go right now, as of today, when I'm posting this video, within the next couple of days, you're going to see these hams. They, um, the shank portion ham, some of them have bone in, some of them don't. Um, and they're either going to be wrapped in the gold foil, the silver foil. Sometimes they have, they be on the clear foil clear wrapper like this one but they're really they're already cooked so no i mean it's really simple and really easy no pressure behind that all right so with that being said i'm gonna be using some um pineapples and cherries just for a little spruce it up decoration so it can look cute on the table i'm gonna be using some vinegar because y'all know ham is uh, they come they come very salty so you lose use a little vinegar to kill that saltiness some brown sugar some honey i have some sweet bourbon maple syrup that y'all probably ain't never heard of but i use this to put on my ham also a little bit of black pepper some toothpicks and you gotta have you a couple of sharp knives so first thing i'm gonna do is go ahead and cut this baby open and give it a good good rinse i can't tell you how to wash your meat however you wash your meat is how you wash your meat but what i'm going to do is just wash mine in a little i'm gonna rinse it off really really good and I'm going to put a little um, vinegar on it. That's what I plan on doing. So you're just going to take it out the plastic, just as simple, just like this. So let me get this out and let me get this to the sink and we shall return. All right, y'all. So look at the ham. This is how it looks, you know, with all the skin on there and the fat on there and all that stuff. Now, if you want to, you can take your skin off just like this. Let me get a knife and show you. You just get up on it there. We want the fat on there because we like the fat. We want the fat on there, but we can take this skin off. Now, this is an option. Some people like to keep their skin on. Some people like to take their skin off. I, re I like mine either way, but I'm just going to show y'all because this is really simple. You just get that knife in there, trim that skin off right there get you a good knife you don't want to cut too much of the fat off because you want that fat i'm gonna leave my skin on my um bone part right there i'm just gonna trim the skin off because i want my seasoning to get down in there okay so next you want to you're gonna want to score your ham now you could do this many different ways you know you could do it if you want to you could do it um crisscross that it don't matter just cut the thing up y'all just put some cuts in it 
just like that. You don't want to go too deep. Just put you some cuts in it. And it don't matter how you do it. It doesn't matter. Just put you a few slits in there because you want your seasonings to get down in there. You see that? You see how I'm cutting that? Just like that. You ain't got to cut too much of it. Just like that. That's it. You can do this side if you want to. If you want to take the skin off, you can. If you don't, just cut. Now you can see. Because I'm going to rub this thing down. Just like that. Take the skin off if you want to. You don't have to. All up to you. Whatever you prefer. Okay. All right. So I switched to the pan that I'm actually going to cook this in. And I'm going to use my maple syrup. And I'm going to rub this all over this. Just like so. Rub it all over. And you want to add some sweetness to your ham because hams are, are so salty. So you got to add some sweetness to it, y'all, to kill some of that salt. You want to put the, the, the honey, the syrup, or whatever it is you want to use on it. You could do that. Put you some sugar. Make sure you do that. Let me go ahead and put a little vinegar in here. I'm also going to put a little vinegar in my... um sauce my reglazing sauce i'm gonna put a little vinegar in that as well okay do that and i'm gonna put my sugar get this ham a good old massage get up on it out i already have my oven preheated on 350 degrees because this only has to cook y'all for a couple of hours in my saucepan, I'm gonna put a whole stick of butter. This is gonna be my base that I'm reusing to base my ham with every 30 minutes. You could do it every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes. I'm gonna do mine every 30 minutes because I'm gonna make it a little heavy. So I'm gonna do mine every 30 minutes. So you wanna start off with one stick of butter. You wanna put some honey in there. You can put all this in there together. It don't have to, one don't have to melt. It don't matter because it's gonna all melt mix up together. Cause you ain't trying to cook it you just trying to combine everything together so it's not a you got to cook it type thing you just want to get it all together so this little container of honey i'm going to use about a quarter of it okay i'm going to put a little sugar about a half a cup along with the honey because like I said y'all I'm not trying to cook it I just want everything to come together and you can make as much of this glaze as you want to I'm gonna look put a little bit of apple cider vinegar and I'll be putting some of this pineapple juice off the pineapples in there as well okay and we just gonna let that melt and mix all up in there together all right y'all so my service um all melted down i'll put some black pepper in there i gotta have black pepper for me if y'all don't want black pepper y'all ain't gotta put no black pepper but i don't recommend you put in any other seasonings really I mean, you could put herbs if you want to, but I want I wouldn't recommend any seasoning, especially any that has salt on it because this is ham and it's already salty. Straight up salt. So, um I've heard that though there's hams out there that are not as salty, but uh I I have yet to come across one. So, I ain't going to put no other seasonings on it because once it's cooked, it's going to be really really good. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to baste my ham with um, this syrup before I stick it in the oven. And I'm going to come back every 30 minutes for the next couple of hours and baste it.
If you don't have a basting brush, you can just use a spoon, honey. This is really, really simple, y'all. When I tell y'all, this simple. It's really simple. And as your syrup sits, it's going to thicken up. And if it thickens up too much, just go ahead and add you some, um, some um, either some pineapple juice or some juice out the cherries if it thickens up too much. And then you could also put a little bit of water if you just run out of everything. Just put a little bit of water. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, for decoration, stick these pineapples on here for y'all. This is optional. If y'all want it on there, you can put it on there. If you don't, honey, don't put it on there. But you know you got to make it pretty for the holidays, honey. You got to make it pretty. Okay? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. We're going to get some toothpicks to hold it up there. Get you some toothpicks, honey. Do it just like that. Now y'all see that? That's what we gonna do. Put your chair in there, honey. Make sure you don't break your uh, toothpick off in your hand. Cause I hate for somebody to cut them a piece and bite down on the toothpick. Oh my goodness. That would be devastating. And then you're going to base right over this, right over these pineapples. They need some love too. So you're going to base right over them as well. When you get ready to uh, base it with your serve after every 30 minutes. Do y'all see that? See how cute that is? All right, y'all, I'm about to put my ham in the oven on 350 uncovered. I don't want it covered at all, and I'm going to put it on the middle rack. So if you have to move your racks up to make space, then do that like I do, and I should have been did it a long time ago. All right, in the oven 350, we'll be back in 30 minutes to base. All right, y'all, look at my ham. It is completely done, completely cool. I'm going to take these two picks out because I want to cut me a piece, hunty. You can eat the pineapples if y'all want to a little later on, but I want to cut me a piece of this ham. Where should I start, hunty? Right here. Look at, look at the juices coming out of that ham. Look how juicy and moist that ham is. Oh, my goodness. All of that basting and going back and forth. That's what it gets you. A nice juicy. Mmm. 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 Y'all. Mmm. I ain't nobody to do that ham long night. Mmm. I'm just going to keep coming in here. Picking that and picking that. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 The ham. The sweetness of that bourbon maple syrup. The honey. Oh my goodness, y'all. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. When y'all get through with this ham, take that ham bone, cook you some green beans with it, some string beans, green beans, pinto beans, best beans you'll ever have when you use that ham bone. Now, y'all don't learn how to cook. That's my grandbaby back there talking. 
she want a piece of ham too. She five months, she want a piece of ham. But let's, <laughs> when y'all go to the grocery store and get this ham, this is really, really simple, easy recipe. I mean, it's really simple. I put it on 325, really. I had it on 350, but I changed it 325 for two hours. It's already smoked. You just want to baste it, make sure it's juicy. Just put you some honey and some brown sugar on it. Baste that thing, honey, make you, make you a sauce with that butter and that honey and put you a little vinegar. Oh my God, y'all. I want to thank y'all. If you've enjoyed this honey ham video, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all. See the next video. I'll see y'all then. Bye.